This video will show you how to add iOS 11 devices to your device enrollment program using Apple Configurator. Previously, only devices purchased directly from Apple or select resellers could be used in the device enrollment program, but with iOS 11 that has changed. The requirements for this are a device using iOS 11 or higher, Apple Configurator 2.5 or higher, and a DEP or ASM account login that has permissions to manage devices. This video will take you through the following steps. First, we'll prepare Apple Configurator. There are three parts to this. One is to create a Wi-Fi profile, two is creating a new organization and supervision identity, and three is to create an entry for the MDM server. The second part of the video will show you the steps involved with adding the device to DEP and enrolling in MDM. For this, we'll prepare the iPad using Configurator. This is the step that also adds the device to your device enrollment program and then using ASM to assign the device to the MDM server, resyncing in Control Tower and verifying that the devices are indeed assigned, and ultimately enrolling the devices into the MDM server. We'll start with creating the Wi-Fi profile. Here's how to create the Wi-Fi profile in Apple Configurator 2. Click on the File menu, choose New Profile, and go down to the Wi-Fi option on the left menu. Click Configure, Enter the SSID, select your security type, and enter the credentials or any other information needed to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Click File, Save, and I recommend that you save the profile to the desktop. Give it a name that you'll easily recognize. Click Save, and you'll see the icon on your desktop or in the selected location, and then you can close the panel. That's it. Next, we'll create a new organization and supervision identity. Here's how you create a new organization and supervision identity in Apple Configurator 2. Click on the Apple Configurator 2 menu and go to Preferences. Choose Organizations and click the plus sign to add a new one. Click Next and now you'll enter the credentials for your ASM account. Once entered, click the Sign In button and now choose Create New Supervision Identity and click Done. You'll need to enter the credentials for your MacBook at this point. And click the Update Settings button. Now you'll see the new supervision identity in the list on the left. Now we'll create an MDM server entry. Here's how to add your MDM server connection to Apple Configurator 2. Click on the Apple Configurator 2 menu and go to Preferences. Switch to the Servers tab at the top and click the plus sign to add a new server. Click Next to continue and enter Tab Pilot, MDM Server, or an easy name in the Name field. And for the URL, enter ct.tabpilot.com. Click Next to continue. Now the server shows up in the list on the left. You're finished. With these three steps complete, Apple Configurator is now ready to begin moving devices into your DEP account, and you won't have to repeat these three steps again. Now we'll move on to the steps that are involved with adding your device to DEP and enrolling them in MDM. We can now use Apple Configurator to prepare the iPad. This step also adds it to your DEP account. Here's how to prepare the device and add it to your DEP account. Either right-click and choose Prepare, or go to the Actions menu and choose Prepare. Select Manual Configuration and have boxes checked for Add Device to Enrollment Program and Allow Devices to Pair with Other Computers. Click Next. We already have the MDM server filled in that we created in the earlier step. We'll also choose an organization that we created earlier. On the Configure iOS Setup Assistance screen, it actually does not make any difference what you check in here because when we enroll the device through DEP, this will get overridden by the settings in TabPilot Control Tower as far as which setup assistant items you'd like to skip and which ones you'd like to run. At this point, we want to choose the Wi-Fi profile that we created earlier. I created the one called District Wi-Fi Profile. 
The profile selected here is only used during the preparation process so that the device can contact the DEP server and add itself to your account. Now we can click prepare. If this iPad had been prepared previously, click the erase button. Now we'll wait for the device and begin the process. The device, of course, is connected to the MacBook through the cable. The device screen will go black and then the Apple logo will appear, and that may happen a couple times before you see the progress bar as the process continues. You can now see the message downloading activation record for this device and activating iOS on the device. At this point, the device is on the hello screen, but do not unlock it at this point. You'll notice that it still says preparing iPad and Apple configurator, and you do not want to unlock the device and begin the process on the iPad itself. In the top left corner of the iPad, you'll see rotating arrows. That is the symbol that's showing you that it is connecting and running through the rest of the process still. So do not unlock it until we see that it's finished in Apple Configurator. After those arrows stop spinning, the iPad will reboot one more time and you'll see the Apple logo and the process will continue. When the prepare process is complete, the iPad will reboot one more time and the message will disappear from Apple Configurator. At this point, we can go into our ASM account and look at the MDM server selection, and we'll see a new entry here that says devices added by Apple Configurator, and mine now shows one device added. So we know that the process was successful and the device is now in your DEP account. Now that the device has been prepared and is available in our DEP account, we can use DEP or ASM to assign the device to the MDM server. We'll assign the device to the MDM server from the device assignments area, just like we did with previous versions and with devices that were purchased directly from Apple. We need to enter the serial number here. If you don't have it, an easy way to find it is to go back to MDM servers, go to the devices added by Apple configurator, and you can download a CSV file that has a list of the serial numbers that were added. Then you can copy and paste into the device assignments area. This is what I did, so I'll go to the device assignments area and paste the serial number here. Now for server action, we will assign a server, choose the Tab Pilot District MDM server, and click Done. Now we'll go resync DEP in Control Tower and we'll check to make sure that the device is seen through DEP. In Control Tower, we'll go to Settings under the Organization menu and to the Apple DEP tab at the top and click on the DEP account. In this case, it's my ASM account. And rather than waiting on the automatic sync, we can just click down at the bottom on Save and saving the DEP profile actually forces it to do an immediate resync. And after a moment or two, the date in the last sync column will update. Once it's updated, I can verify by clicking the DEP Device Lookup button and I should see my new iPad in the list of devices, and the status will say Assigned. This is our way of showing you that TabPilot has connected to your DEP account and sees that the device is assigned to the DEP server, although it's not yet enrolled. Now that the device is in DEP and it has been assigned to the TabPilot MDM server, we're just about ready to enroll. We have one more step to finish in Apple Configurator. Our final step in Configurator is that we will apply the Wi-Fi profile that we created earlier to the device. That way, we won't have to enter network credentials during the normal DEP enrollment. So all we'll do is drag it and drop it on the device. We'll see a message that it will be added to the device, and it only takes a moment. Downloading activation record for device and activating iOS on device. With the Wi-Fi profile now installed, we can press the Home button and run through the enrollment process through DEP. Here we are at the Hello screen. I'll press the Home button, select Language and Country, and the iPad says Retrieving Configuration. At the Remote Management screen, we can see that the system will automatically be configured. I'll tap Next in the top right corner. It's asking for location services because our DEP settings allowed for that, and enrollment is complete.
Lastly, we can check back in Control Tower and we'll see that the device is installed. Here we are back in Safari and in Control Tower. And if I go to Devices, iOS DEP Unassigned, uh, you can see that here is the device that we just enrolled ready to go. Hope this video was helpful and look for lots of other videos on the Tab Pilot support site. Thanks so much.